Hello everyone. In this last session, we discussed about the type how steady state error depends on the type of the systems. Depends on type of system. So in the type of system, we are discussing both input and output. So we will continue the next point. The next point is second point. So here in the second point, for example, you are giving the input. Input is u of t. That u of t is given to the the system which consisting the transfer function is 1 by s power 0 and the steady state error value is so here u of t means we have the t here but t power 0 that means 1 into u of t giving to the system it doesn't have this is also a, any any s term s power also 0 right whenever steady state error is value is k is called constant so in this condition whenever so input power and the system type type of system is same then the steady state error value is the constant steady state error value is constant so in the previous case what happened for previous case look at the previous case in this previous case whenever input power is less than the type of the system then automatically steady state error zero but here steady state error become the constant this is the another important point this is the another important point here the type of the system will be equal and the type of the input is equal to the type of the system then the steady state error become the constant and if you are using the another another input for the different system so take the third point so in this third point if you are giving a RAM signal for example if you are applying the RAM signal then what happened here ramp is the input then ramp signal is given to the same system that is the system is s power 0 then the steady state error steady state error what happened to steady state error so ramp system means we can write like this time with respect to unit step system time with multiplied with the unit step system then what happened we will discuss here so for that purpose so we do the calculation here generally steady state error formula is 1 by kv 1 by kv so what is the formula for kv kv is you know that limit s tends to 0 s into g of s kv value yeah here limit s tends to 0 s is there what is g of s is value 1 because s power 0 is 1 then kv value is 0 and kv value is the 0 then steady state error equal 1 by kv that means 1 by 0 it become the infinite so if you observe here here input power is 1 and system power is 0 whenever input power is more than the system power steady state error become steady state error become infinite input power is greater than the here steady state error so input power is greater than the generally a system then steady state error is become infinite steady state error become the infinite this is also one condition 
this is also a one condition so by using all these three conditions so we have three conditions the first condition is whenever the input is less than the type the system steady state error is zero second whenever input power is equal to the type of the system steady state error is constant whenever the input power is more than the type so this is the type of the system so better to write here type of the system not system type of system then steady state error become infinite okay so by using this these three concepts we will analyze the steady state error very easily analyze the steady state error easily so by using the all the points we will write a, a simple equation a simple formulas like this that is steady state error we can write like this whenever system type is greater than the input order input order then steady state error is zero steady state error value become zero whenever the system type is equal to the input order both are same the steady state error is constant steady state error is constant next whenever the system type is less than input order steady state error is very high that is steady state error is infinite infinite or r infinite like this these are the three points very very useful when we are doing the problems with the discussing the problem with the steady state error it is a general thing that is always the system type is more than the input then error is zero directly whenever system type input order sometimes equal that time steady state error some value it has some constant and system type input order both the system type is less than the input order this is the reverse of the process that's why it has more steady state error that is the infinite that is the infinite by using this we will find out the steady state errors so we will write another three formulas like this so we will define another three formulas so for example i am taking first i am giving a unit step to the unit step to the signal 1 by s power 0 then it will give the output this is the one signal the another signal we have the signal is represented with t power 0 and we have another signal that is r of t it is represents with t into u of t then it is applied to the for example it is applied to the same 1 by s power it will give some error and we should apply the parabola is the signal then the signal is t square by 2 u of t then the output e when it is applied to the system that is 1 by s square then we will get some signal when both powers this power this power are same we have steady state error is constant we have constant steady state error and here t power 1 s power 1 same then we have the steady state error same t power 2 s power 2 same then we have constant steady state error so if we are changing the inputs for example this error is this input is given to the this system then the error is zero yes and this r of t input is given to this system this power is more then the error is infinite okay and next when this is also when this power is more than 
the system power then the error is become infinite so here t power 1 is given to the <coughs> this system then the error is become 0 so by using this chart also we will define different different errors different different errors so whenever this power this input signal power and the system power are same we have the constant error by using the formulas when when the input order and type of the system are different then error values 0 or are become infinite become infinite so by observing whenever you are start in, in, in order to do the problem in the steady state error first you look at system type then you look at input order compare the both and take which type of steady state error we have if the steady state error is if both conditions are there you can apply directly zero and infinite if the steady state error is constant and you should use these formulas so you should use the these formulas if the step input is the input then use this use this this formula ess then a by 1 plus kp then use for the kp you have to write this formula for ram signal the steady state error is a by kv for kv the value is limit s tends to 0 s into g of s you have to use if the parabola is you are applying and the steady state error is a by ka then you for ka you have to use limit s tends to 0 s square g of s so by using this phenomena steady state error should be calculated steady state error should be calculated so this is the complete theory regarding the steady state error i hope all of you understand this session so before discussing the problems you have a clear idea about this theory regarding the steady state error okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you